During these unique times, Cortland knows that we're all trying to practice social distancing. So calling in a service request may not be at the top of your list. But Cortland wants to make sure that your home is functioning properly. We have developed these short videos that will walk you through the most commonly requested tasks that you as a resident can perform yourself, limiting you and your family to additional exposure in your home. Please note, our service teams are still available. In this video, I will walk you through troubleshooting and resetting your ground fault circuit interrupter, or as you know, outlets that are located in wet areas. Unlike a homes breaker, the GFCI is integrated in the outlet itself. When you plug in an appliance, such as a hairdryer, the GFCI outlet monitors the amount of power going into the device. If you are drying your hair and accidentally drop the hairdryer into a sink full of water, the GFCI detects the interruption in the current and cuts the power to the GFCI outlet to protect you and your home. The downside to the GFCI is that they tend to be very sensitive, and if too many appliances are plugged into the same circuit, the GFCI will turn itself off or trip. There are three scenarios that you'll come across when troubleshooting GFCIs. In scenario one, you're using the appliance when the GFCI trips. First, you'll want to unplug all the appliances on this circuit. You'll find that the reset button is sticking out a little further than normal, indicating that this outlet has been tripped. To reset the GFCI, simply push the reset button in. Nine times out of 10, you'll find that the GFCI will reset and you can get back to cooking. Scenario two, you hit the reset button and it pushes in initially, but then trips again immediately. This usually means that there's something on that circuit that is causing the GFCI to trip. Unplug all the appliances that are connected on that circuit. Once you have done that, try resetting it and see what happens. If it still won't reset, you'll probably need to submit a service request. Scenario 3. You push the reset button and it will not reset. This indicates there is no power to the outlet or the GFCI itself has failed. Before submitting a service request, you can check to see if the breaker has tripped in the main electrical panel. If the breaker is tripped, then the GFCI will not reset. The first step is to locate your electrical panel, which is usually located in the laundry room, utility room, in the bedroom behind the door, or in this case, it's located in the garage. To reset the breaker, simply flip the breaker to the off position, then flip it back to the on position. If the breaker stays in the on position, then go ahead back to the GFCI. You'll notice that the indicator light is now on. Press the reset button and you're ready to start cooking again. If the breaker continues to trip or the GFCI will not reset, then it's time to submit a service request. Nine times out of 10 when you have no power to the outlet, it's just a matter of resetting the GFCI. If the issue is in the kitchen, chances are the GFCI will be located in the kitchen. If the issue is in the bathroom, please keep in mind that one GFCI can control multiple bathrooms. So if you don't have power in the guest bathroom, make sure to reset the GFCI in the master bathroom. Thank you again for joining me today, and I look forward to our next project together.